Hello again. Today we will do a short video on how to use the rapid multi-entry in EasyCoin. We recently received a question from a customer on uh, how to enter a collection of state quarters from the US without having to enter them one at a time. EasyCoin's rapid multi-entry or RME for short will allow you to easily accomplish this very quickly. When using the RME function, we highly recommend that you first do an EasyCoin backup either locally or to the cloud if you have the cloud option. This is to allow you to recover in case you make a mistake because you can enter a lot of coins very quickly if you make a mistake. Here's, here's the two methods of backing up. You can use the cloud option by going to cloud or extras, cloud utilities, and then click backup or you can use the local backup by going to file country data file utilities create backup or f7 for short i won't do one here because i've already done one here and and this is for demonstration purposes anyways when using the rme function it is important to be aware that all coins will be entered in the exact same way the quantity the grade etc will all be entered the same way in this particular instance, uh, our customer wanted to enter all the 25 se uh, cent state quarters from 1999 to 2009, and he had the Phil uh, Philadelphia Mint varieties, and all were in a grade of uh, MS65. So let's begin. To do this, we start the RME process, which is in the Edit menu, Rapid Entry, or we can just use the shortcut key of Shift F10. We then set the filters are, are as needed for our entries. In this case, we'll select a 25 cent uh, denomination from the drop down. I've already pre selected it. And we would select the type rain, which would be the Washington quarters from the list. And then you would enter your year range from, in our case, 1999 to 2009. And I also selected the P mint mark to match what the customer had wanted. And then you just click find and we found 56 uh, matches in this particular range. We then click the RME button and this brings up all the records that matches our search criteria. The RME report view has all the items bookmarked in red here um, for entry. Uh, we can deselect items as needed uh, if we like using the red or minus uh, bookmark icons which are these ones here so if I wanted to deselect this one I would just hit the minus sign and you'll see it's been deselected I'm going to select all of them in the uh, list and proceed so when we're ready we'll click the RME icon right here uh, just as a reminder when you hover over any of the icons in EasyCoin you'll see down here at the status bar a brief description of what they do so I'll click on the RME icon and now I'll select the grade to enter all our coins as MS63. It defaults to a quantity of one and then we can enter other items like uh, the main location. So for example, I can say this is located in Whitman book seven. You can put other comments and whatever it is that you need and then you just click on inventory and then it has added all those coins. Now we can run reports to uh, show us what we've entered. We can use the quick stats report and just click find and show. So there's our 56 entries. Click show and here's a report of all the coins that we entered. We can also use uh, one of the reports that I like is the grade details uh, report. And I'm going to choose the grade of MS63. And there's again our 56 coins. Click show. And here they are. As always, an easy coin, any report view, if you simply double click on a particular coin in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the view here. So if you double click here it will bring up that coin in the main 
uh, in the main viewer. Just another convenience that uh, uh, sometimes uh, people aren't aware of. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. Let us know if you have any questions and bye for now.